What's going on guys? Rob with Oddball ORV. So uh, today's a great day. We're finally gonna get back to putting together uh, the engine on the FL350 here. Uh, I got everything laid out on the, the table here and uh, it's quite a bit of stuff and uh, hoping I can remember how to put it all back together. Um, but uh, we should be good to go. Uh, for those interested, I took the uh, cylinder up to CW Racing up in Cal Campbell, California. Uh, talked to Chris there. He's a great guy, super cool, super chill. Um, he's a guy that uh, rebuilt the engine for me or uh, bored the, the cylinder and got me my piston and everything. So um, uh, he's convenient to me. He's about 30 minutes away, so it worked out fantastic. I do know that uh, Derek also does um, uh, engine rebuilding. He's down in Bakersfield, California, so if he's close to you, also check him out. He's also super cool, super chill. Uh, so uh, really, really excited about uh, getting all this back together. We got an upcoming uh, trip to Pismo in about four weeks, and I also got our um, our rally, our FL350, or a Honda Odyssey and Pilot rally down at uh, Derek's place in Bakersfield coming up May 28th. So uh, super excited about getting all that uh, going, and of course, we gotta get this engine back into this, uh, or back together in the machine and get it all running. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna be doing uh, video clips. I'm gonna be showing little bits and pieces, uh, hopefully like three to five minute clips instead of 10 to 12 minute clips. We'll just see how things work out. So anyways, uh, excited to get this thing going and uh, check out the clips and we'll, we'll keep things going. In this video here, we gotta do a little bit of preparation on our, um, on our engine before we can start putting the cylinder back on. Um, what I did earlier is I went and cleaned up uh, these uh, bolts here. There was a lot of corrosion and everything on them, so I just took a wire wheel. I put some uh, paper towels on top so we didn't get any debris falling inside the case. <clears throat> and then I just took the wire brush and uh, cleaned all this up. So that seemed to work out pretty well, but before we actually put everything back in, one of the things that we need to do is check and make sure that there is no um, debris from the parts of the cylinder um, or the piston that disintegrated. So I got a bore scope here and uh, we used this to do our engine check um, what, quite a while ago. So we're gonna use it again to take a look on the inside. So I'm just gonna get this thing queued up here, get it recording. So we'll be able to put that in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a peek in here just see if there's any chunks of metal that are gonna come loose. So it looks like there's actually some little pieces of debris. The question is how loose these things are. Take a look up here. There's definitely some pieces. We'll have to decide, <clears throat> I'll have to see if I can scrape those off. If they come off, then we'll have to see if we can get those out. Um, <clears throat> if they don't come off um, and they're, they're stuck, uh, likely because they melted uh, right onto it, then they're probably gonna be okay. So we'll need to check all that out. Um, the bearing itself, I think that looks pretty good. So, Set this aside for now. So one of the things that you want to look for on uh, on this is uh, how the um, the arm is moving. So you can have a little bit of side to side movement. That's that's normal. What you don't want is up and down. So it it can be a little hard to feel. Uh, just because there is a side to side movement, but you should be able to take it and move it up and down and there should be no um, up and down movement of the arm. So this is actually feeling pretty good from what I can tell. I think that's good. Next thing we gotta do here is we gotta remove the old gasket. Try and get this out of here without too much. <clears throat> Make sure you don't lose these little sleeves. I put these back in. Um, these are uh, register sleeves to make sure that everything is in alignment. So we're going to put those to the side for the moment. Let's see if we can get this thing off of here. Hey 
Hey folks, so I uh, had a little issue with uh, both my secondary camera and the microphones, uh, as luck would have it. So uh, what I'm trying to do right here, I know you can't really see it well because we're not zoomed in, but I'm just testing to make sure that I got the right gasket. And then um, I've gently taken this screwdriver and coming up under the lip of the existing gasket and just gently kind of prying it up. Um, you want to be real careful because uh, the, the engine casing is aluminum and uh, it's uh, really soft metal so you don't want to um, you know try and jam anything but you know it's just a little bit of uh, um, uh, prying with the screwdriver and that got it the metal old uh, gasket to start lifting up and then I was able to successfully uh, pull it completely out as you can see me doing uh, right here so um, now I did replace the gasket because um, it was time for it. Um, gaskets are cheap and easy. Um, it did look in pretty good shape, but uh, since I already had a new gasket, I decided it's worth it to just go ahead and do that. Okay, so one of the things that we got to do is we got to figure out how to get some of the debris that's um, in the cylinder um, removed, and. Uh, Trying to avoid taking the whole thing out, the uh, not the cylinder, I'm sorry, the uh, engine casing bottom end. So uh, what I did is I took some uh, electrical tape here and I taped it to the end of the screwdriver, but it's reversed. And uh, what we're going to do is just try and go down here and see if we can get some of this debris this is in here. So we're just going to shove this in. And really, this is this is what I want to try and get way down at the bottom here. I'm not really sure if this is going to work or not. getting away with this. Turn this around. Let's see if we can get that big chunk right there. Okay. And uh, let's see. We got, yeah, we picked up some debris there. So uh, we're just gonna repeat this process a few times until we can get that completely uh, cleared out. Okay, so uh, still working on just getting uh, a little of this debris out. It looks like it's actually just mostly oil. Uh, what I did here is uh, I taped a, um, just a paper towel to the end of the screwdriver here. We're gonna go back in here and uh, try and get some more of this. You can see the black stuff there. I thought originally that was like metal chunks and stuff, but it turns out that's actually just, um, looks like just oil. So we're just gonna kind of scrape this along a little bit. I don't see any major chunks or anything. That's what we're looking for. Um, look. Not the best video, but it's what we can get. Okay, pull that out. Let's see, just some oil on that. Let's move the piston all the way over on this side. It's gonna be a little bit harder. I wanna take a look down in here. going on here. Come up. Clean that up. I think that's it. We'll just pull this the rest of the way up, pull this out, 
and uh, you can see it's just, again, most of the oil. So I think we're good on that. So the next thing is um, we're gonna clean up the top of this gasket a little bit more, wipe it down. I'll put some paper towels in here to protect all this so we don't get any debris in there while we're doing that. Stick that down as well as we can. And then uh, once we have all that, all this uh, wiped up here, then uh, we can put on the gasket and then put on the cylinder. Actually, the piston, I guess, comes next. All right, so first thing we want to do before we try and do any more cleanup here is to get our paper towel in here. Now, this ain't going to be perfect. It's a little hard to do. But I just want to make sure that nothing major falls down into there, especially as dirt. And we're just going to wipe off what we can. Now, obviously, this would be a lot easier if I just took the entire engine out. Um, someday that may happen, but um, in this case, just trying to do it all without taking it out just to save a little bit of effort. So we're going to gently clean this off. Make sure that we're wiping away from the cylinder there, from the casing. Good. Get all of this. Get all that grime out. Back is where it's a little trickier just because it is raised up and it's tilted forward so we want to wipe away from the piston. Get all this. Okay. Little bit just right back here. Okay. So the next thing we got to do is we got to put in our our needle bearing here, and um, so this goes right in here. And uh, before we do that, what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of a pre lubricant on this, just because it will be dry um, when it starts up. So um, the recommendation uh, from Chris from CW Racing was to just do some of your uh, two-stroke oil and so uh, I'm just gonna get my dab my finger in this a little bit here like that and I'm just gonna rub it all on there nice and good. Make sure there's nothing on there except for the oil and we're just gonna stick this right in just like that okay rotate that around now i'm going to add a little bit of oil yeah nice and good right there okay rotate this up and then there's a little access. Probably won't be able to do much, but I'm gonna kind of wipe some of this on there. Hopefully it gets kind of in there. And again, this is uh, just because all of this is pretty much dry when we first start burning this up. We just wanna have a little bit of oil down in these components. So, all right. That's that. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta get the, uh, I guess our piston and put that in and then we can put our jug in. Hey folks, real quick, uh, I was working on putting together this video and I realized um, I didn't really have an explanation of why I was doing a bore scope look in the bottom end of my engine. So 
Uh, this is my uh, piston. And um, <clears throat> I've showed this in other videos in the past, but for those who may not have seen that, this is what my piston looks like um, after a blue. So I'm missing significant chunks of, uh, of metal here, um, both on the top end and of course down at the bottom end here. There's uh, all sorts of metal missing. So the reason why I did the bore scope was to make sure that there was none of this metal that ended down in the bottom end of the engine. And uh, from what I could tell, um, I didn't see any major chunks, just little bits. I did see a little bit of pieces in the exhaust itself. Um, my guess, I haven't confirmed this yet, but my guess is that most of this metal, it was just super heated, super hot, and it probably just got blown straight out the exhaust pipe um, at the end. But I'm going to continue to do some searching in the exhaust before I button everything up and fire it up. So anyways, that's the reason why I'm doing this borescope uh, video look here.